Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying a Kringle from Uncle Mike's Bake Shop. Uh, we want to thank Austin and Amanda. They sent us $40 in the mail so that we could order a Kringle from Uncle Mike's Bake Shop, and we greatly, greatly appreciate that. Uh, so, it, uh, it says, literally the best on the planet. Terry, awarded the best Kringle in North America. This Kringle was the bomb. <laughs> Sheila, uh, UncleMikesBakeShop.com, and that's where we went to order this. And they had many Kringles to choose from. So, we, um, we chose the Sea Salt Caramel Pecan. So it says, an American treasure. I've never had anything like this. The harmony of flavors is remarkable upon tasting, rich and satisfying, but never overwhelming. It's just so amazingly delicious. Don't be fooled. This isn't just some Danish or ordinary coffee ring. I live in Manhattan and send my friends this glorious treat from Wisconsin. Thank you. You make me look really good, John. <laughs> okay, so you open it up, and this is what it looks like. So we ordered this, literally we ordered it two days ago. So we, we got the money and we went to the website and they immediately shipped it and it got to us. They said two day shipping, it was two day shipping. And the price, uh, which I'll, I'll give you all that in a minute, the price does include um, the shipping and everything. So I'm actually gonna put this on this, this plastic on here. And I want to open it carefully like this. It smells so, good. Yeah, it looks like it's a, like a pretzel shape. So I don't know how these are normally cut, but I'm gonna cut it with a pizza cutter and we'll see if it doesn't work with the pizza cutter, then I will switch over to a knife. Um, let's see, I'm gonna just let's go right here. Actually, that worked really, really well. So, I want to show you how it looks. This is how it looks from the side. And you can see the filling. And so, what I'm going to do is, oh, I'm going to cut this in half. And we are going to try uh, one half of it. We're going to heat it up. And the other half, we're just going to have it uh, just at room temperature. And we'll, we'll let you know which way we like it best. So like I said, this is the Sea Salt Caramel Pecan. It says our Sea Salt Caramel Pecan was awarded the best Kringle in North America. The Kringle dough is made with European style butter that gives our Kringle that great buttery taste. The pecan filling is made with pecans, butter, sugar, and cinnamon, topped with our homemade Danish icing, sea salt, caramel, and pecans. It looks warm. Okay, <laughs> so this is the one that's been heated. Now you can't put it, in, they say to put it in the oven to heat it up. I just stuck it in the microwave for five seconds. Yes, so. It, it got warm enough, didn't it? Because mm -hmm. you don't want it hot and hot. I wonder if when they serve these, if they if they're a little warm there. Mm. I know you can't help but eat it all. Mm. Um, I literally shoved it in my mouth. It reminds me a lot of like a really, really, really good honey bun. It's a souped up honey bun. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. It's like a honey bun. On steroids. <laughs> it um it's better than any honey bun I've ever had. That is Or a sticky bun. A sticky bun, yeah, a sticky bun. You really, really get uh the pecans. Mm -hmm. I love that um mm -hmm. almost you. the the that sweet glaze. Uh the cinnamon, you do get some cinnamon, but it's not strong. Mm -hmm. No, it it's not really, overdone at all. No. It goes really well together. So I like it warm. warm. I do like it and warm. And again, it's not hot. It's just warmed up just a little mm -hmm. bit. So this is the one that's that literally just came right out of the package. Yeah, it's basically room temperature. Okay. You also get the pecans uh, really good too. They're mm -hmm. sticky. Sticky, mm -hmm. sticky. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, 
We've never had a cradle like this. Mm -mm. Hmm. I got a good um never I got a good hit of cinnamon in that one mm -hmm. and again it's not overdone but if you get the cinnamon like a, a stronger piece of the cinnamon it, it goes really well with the pecans and the, the glaze and the filling yeah it makes you just want to keep shoving this in my mouth I think <laughs> now you gotta talk <laughs> what is so awesome um it what is so pleasurable about this particular flavor is those pecans mm -hmm. so you're getting the flaky layers um which is wonderful mm -hmm. but then you're also getting that pecan and there's the um the cinnamon on the inside um it's i would give that a five out of five i mean oh, that is absolutely terrific maybe even a six out of yeah, it, it, yeah. I mean, it, it's truly terrific. We have not had a Kringle like this before. No, most so, of them are a little denser, you know, a little tougher. Well, this one has some toughness to it too. In the pastry itself, it has a little, you like bite into it. You can, I mean, get some resistance. Um, but it's not hard right? or dry or anything. It just gives you a little resistance, a little tug when you when you bite into it. I like that. I do too. Uh, to be fair, we don't know. We always buy them, of course, when the date's good because they come with a date on them. But you still don't know how long they've been sitting on the shelf. Um, we have tried uh, four different Kringles. We've tried two from Owen H. Uh, Owen mm -hmm. H. Danish Bakery. We've tried the Authentic Danish Kringle and the Pumpkin Caramel. And that's the one they sold at our uh, Good Food Co-op. So they also sure. have that one, I believe, at Trader Joe's. Yeah. Um, we have also tried the Racine, R-A-C-I-N-E, Racine Danish Kringle. And we've had the pecan and the raspberry. And we bought, I'm pretty sure we bought both of those at Aldi. I think that's where we found them. Um, they do not hold a candle to this one. Mm. Now, that is just the truth. And it could have been the flavor we picked, truth be told. Raspberry? That's true. No, I, think, pecan one, I think the pecan. Yeah, the pecan. I can, I can tell you, it was not the flavors. Mm. It's... It's this is different. This is um, this seems thicker. It seems um, it's got a lot of stuff in it. There's yes, there's a lot more going on. I don't think they um, tried to cut corners when it came to add-ins. Mm -hmm. So they really gave it their all <laughs> and um, gave you as much as as they would like themselves. I'm sure to give you a better experience. Uh, it is absolutely delicious. There I wanted to tell you they have. So the the reason we chose this one is because like it's supposed to be their best seller. Right. And they're number one rated and all that. Stuff. I understand. Mm -hmm. If for some reason you don't like pecans, they do have this probably might have been my second uh, pick. The Door County Cherry Kringle. That sounds really, really good. Raspberry Kringle. That they have, good too, though. That's a turtle. <laughs> a turtle, a looks turtle really Kringle. Good. It's going to have some chocolate. They have a caramel apple, a cream cheese, an almond, a blueberry cheese, a strawberry cheese, caramel fudge cake. Caramel fudge is good too. And then they have just uh, a six pack and a. They have a, a Kringle of the month. Yeah. Can you even imagine? So you have to go to their main page that tells you what the flavor is. Yes. So so like they have a subscription to where you can get these every single month. I mean, just like that would be awesome. I couldn't do that. Um. Oh, you could. I mean, I could, but I couldn't keep my weight down if but, I did. <laughs> but it's like, what is a Kringle? A Kringle is a Danish pastry that has a filling, traditionally in a pretzel shape. The dough has 36 layers of dough and butter, making it very flaky. You know what they're saying that's traditionally in a pretzel shape? I don't think the ones we've had before were in a pretzel shape. I think they were oval. They've all been oval. Yeah. I don't think we, we've, that. you know, that I'm so glad you said that. I they, don't think, at they, least my no, memory is, they no, were always right. like a, an oval They're in a shape. ring. Yeah. They're, they're always in a ring. Almost range. square or rectangular. Almost. They're always in a ring. Then they, they do come in a bag, like that white bag that we took it out of. Mm -hmm. They do they come in a bag. Them. But, uh, they no, they're in a ring, and even those that we got from Aldi, they're in, it seemed like it was a red plastic ring. It, they were not in a pretzel shape. No. So this one, it costs more, but you're getting more. Because yeah, that's good. Because those other ones, 
just have the ring around the outside. They don't have anything on the inside. This is completely full. So they have three shops now. They started with one shop. Um, they started selling these in 2001. And then uh, they got so popular that they now have three locations in Wisconsin. And so that's saying a lot right there. Mm -hmm. um, it does Just say- in that one town. <laughs> yeah, it does say- and yeah, in that one state. It, it can be left out on the counter for three to four days. Um, if you're not going to consume it within that period, place it in the freezer in plastic packaging. Freeze for up to six months. Mm -hmm. To warm, heat it in the oven at 350 um, if it's unfrozen for three minutes. So if you freeze it, you're going to have to let it fall first. But now, Kevin put it in the microwave yeah, and I thought, there five or ten seconds I thought good. it was perfect. Yeah, just don't overdo it. But I will tell you, um, it was $35.95. That does seem expensive, but it included the shipping. Yeah, and you get a lot. And I you mean, get a lot, yes. We will be eating on this for the rest of the week. Uh, because, you, yes, you really, really do get a lot. It's very good. Um, I would like to know, because Austin and Amanda gave us gave us the money. They sent us the so money they must like for this. I want to know which ones they've had. Yeah, which, I want to know... Which ones do you like and which, one, which one's your favorite? Yeah, does Austin have a favorite and does Amanda have a favorite? And then they have two kids. Do the kids have favorites? Like, have you tried them all or have you only tried particular ones? I would like to know what what what's the story. I'd like to know what everybody's favorite So is. which do you like better, room temperature or heated? <sighs> I like it heated just that little bit. I like it either way. But I like it heated. Yeah. I like it out of the microwave. But knowing like you can throw it in the microwave for a few seconds, it's fine. Easy. Yeah. So they're suggesting the company's recommending putting it in the oven. But just know that if you if, if your oven's not working or something like or that, or you don't want to take the time to you let don't it heat want up. to heat. Yes, exactly. Uh, then absolutely stick it in the microwave for five seconds. Go ahead and cut it off and just stick whatever you want um, in the microwave. If you were making it for company, like mm -hmm. you were having people over, then, then I would then it stick it in the oven. Then I would stick the whole thing in the oven. Yeah, it comes up on a and cookie cut it. sheet. I yeah. put it on a, a cookie sheet with on some parchment, parchment paper. Yeah. Um, and it would, yeah. Can you imagine ordering one of these and having it for breakfast? That'd like if your awesome. kids were going to have a sleepover, mm -hmm. you could order it a couple days before. And then, like, we got it two days later. And, like, if you, we were having kids spend the night tonight, then the next morning they could have that fresh. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that would good. be awesome. Yeah. This would be good for uh, for any kind of big function like that where you're going to have a lot of people because you're going to be able to cut that into a lot of pieces. Now, I don't have any calories for you. So, and I don't have a serving size. I don't even know how many, how many servings. How you're supposed to get? I don't even know how many. I think it's best that we not know. <laughs> some you things, make your own servings up. Some things it's best to like stay two in the dark. Like servings for Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's best to just stay ignorant. You know, ignorance is bliss sometimes. Uh, but Austin and Amanda, thank you so, so much. This truly, I'm not just saying this. Because other Kringles that we've had have been sent to us mm -hmm. from viewers just like you. And they're good. And they were good, but they were not any comparison uh, to this. This this is really good. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If anyone else has tried any of these, let us know which one was your favorite. And thanks for watching.